Connor versus Khabib, baby. It's finally here. Who's going to win? Khabib, Connor, I actually have no idea. That's not my lock for this fight. Uh, I pay a lot of attention to pre fight press conferences, pre fight interviews. I feel like it gives you a good idea of where the fighters are at psychologically. If a fighter has a little bit of doubt, if a fighter is looking too far ahead, looking past their opponent, really hard to read the interactions between these two. I will say Connor definitely had the upper hand as far as the pre-fight fight, so to speak. Uh, he was clearly in Khabib's head. Let me just show you what I mean by that. Here's an interview Khabib did a few months ago. Uh, uh, previewing a potential fight. At that point, the fight hadn't been made. Previewing a potential fight with uh, Conor. And I have a little bit plan, you know, make him tired, make him look bad. First round, he's very dangerous. Everybody knows this. I know this too. And if you think I'm going to stay with him like I stay with Yakinta with my Muhammad Ali Jeb, no way, brother. <laughs> no way. I'm going to... Try to take him down, make him, like, even if he defend my takedown, he's going to be tired. So here we see Khabib, very calm, very relaxed, laughing, joking around with the media. Uh, if you don't know what he means by Muhammad Ali jab, uh, Muhammad Ali was a high volume puncher. The downside to that is it leaves you vulnerable to counter strikes. Um, if, you're Muhammad, if you're Muhammad Ali, you're not worried about it because you know when the counter comes, you're quick on your feet, you're not going to be there. Khabib is acknowledging, I'm no Muhammad Ali on my feet. Uh, be going up against a very strong counter puncher in Con Conor McGregor. Obviously, I'm not going to fight him the same way I fought against Ali Kinta. Uh, in this video, we have uh, Khabib in a pre-fight press conference leading up to UFC 223, where he was supposed to fight uh, Tony Ferguson, who's fighting tonight, by the way. Uh, supposed to fight Tony Ferguson for the vacated lightweight belt. Uh, this was shortly after Connor was stripped of the lightweight belt. Um, then Tony had to drop out, freak accident. Uh, they find him a new opponent. So this reporter is asking Khabib how he feels about taking on a new opponent on short notice. He's bigger than me. You know, I, I want to give him respect. He take this fight. But, but, but one week ago, he vacation, drink beer, everything. But hey, I am training for five round fight, you know. This guy have to knock me out. Hey, if I was no knock ready. me out, I hey. was getting ready. If the this guy, if this guy no knock me out, it's gonna be big night for him. The, you know, the injury, the it's gonna be big to night. Happen. He has to knock me out, happen. and that's it. How he gonna beat me? Hey, I, I've been he, he make. So this is the Khabib I'm used to seeing. Relaxed, supreme self confidence, taking little shots at his opponent. Hey, you didn't see any of that in the press conference with Connor. English is obviously not his first language, but he's having no difficulty answering any of the questions in these interviews. But all of a sudden, in the press conference with Connor, he's struggling to find his words. He's shy. He looks like he doesn't want to talk. Connor was clearly in his head, but was that enough to shake his confidence in the cage? Can you shake the confidence of someone who's never lost a round inside the octagon? Can you shake the confidence of someone who's been wrestling with bears since he was seven years old? Watch this video. He's going for a single leg. He's going for a single leg on a bear. So you're probably thinking, what the hell is going on over there in Russia? Why are they letting this seven-year-old kid wrestle a bear? But apparently if you get a bear when it's a cub, they can grow to be just as affectionate towards you as dogs. Check this out. And Mark has been her guardian, provider, and playmate since she was eight weeks old. Mark is the only person in the world who has this kind of bond with a fully grown polar bear. Now she said fully grown polar bear, but you can find lots of examples on YouTube of people that have had bears since they were cubs and then uh, grow close bonds with those bears. So it's not as unsafe as you think, but it's still crazy that this guy was wrestling bears since he was seven years old. So that's why I'm having difficulty picking the winner of this fight. I am leaning towards Connor. I do think he's in Khabib's head. I do think he truly believes he can win this fight, but it's hard to bet against a guy who's never lost a round. <laughs> he's never lost a round. So my lock for this fight is right here. Over 
total rounds two and a half and it's a nice little payout a dollar ten cents for every dollar that you put down it's interesting that they have khabib favored to win the fight not favored by a lot but it's also not a pick him he is the favorite but they don't think the fight is going to go past two and a half rounds let's take a look at khabib's uh let's take a look at khabib's wins decision decision submission but that's in the third round tko punches in the second round against daryl horcher who the hell is daryl horcher dos años decision 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 you know you go all the way back to january 19 2013 uh where he fought tiago tavares i mean again who is tiago tavares ko punches in the first round so this is a guy who's not winning his fights early um and yet you have him favored to win the fight but you don't have the fight favored to go past two and a half rounds so that's reason number one to take this bet now if you go over to connor you'll see the complete opposite round two victory he had that epic battle with nate diaz that went five rounds but then you go round two round one or sorry round two loss round one round two round two round one round one so if you think khabib's gonna win and most of his fights go the distance and this is his toughest opponent to date why would this fight be any different if he's gonna win why how, why is he gonna stop him in under two and a half rounds when he doesn't do that he, he went to a decision with al Kinta, someone who wasn't even ranked in the top 10 at the time that he fought he's gonna stop connor in under three rounds no but if you think connor's gonna win then maybe you're wondering why i would go under two and a half rounds well if you go back to connor's record you see all the early stoppages but if you look at method of victory tko he had the ko in under 13 seconds against jose aldo then tko 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 he's only actually had one knockout in his fights in the ufc this one was in cage warriors when he was fighting in cage warriors back in 2012. so when a fight ends early the highest the most likely method of victory was knockout so i'm betting that connor who's only knocked out one fighter in his fights in the ufc is not gonna knock out khabib in under two and a half rounds khabib his biggest opponent i mean physically big khabib's got a big head a guy who's never lost a round so let's take knockout met the method of victory of knockout in the first two and a half rounds out of the picture based on connor's previous fights combined with the fact that he's going up against arguably his toughest opponent so in other words i'm betting connor who's only knocked out one fighter in the ufc isn't gonna do that in his fight against khabib in under three rounds now if a knockout is the method of victory most likely to have occurred when a fight ends early i would say submission is number two and tko is number three and you can argue about that if you say tko is number two submission number three you can make the case for either or in my opinion it goes two submission three tko and the reason for that is because tko take some time you need to dominate for a few minutes usually you're dominating for a few minutes before you score a tko so i'm betting that at no point in the first two and a half rounds will either of these guys be able to dominate each other enough to the point where they score a tko you're talking about a guy in khabib who's never lost a round you're talking about a guy in khabib who doesn't finish his opponents early so i'm betting that connor won't be able to score TKO in under three rounds against a guy who's never lost a round. And I'm not worried about Khabib because even when he dominates fights like he did against Ally Kinta, they can still and often do go to decisions. So if you're on the fence about buying this fight, you bought Aldo McGregor a few years ago, then you were wondering why you paid all kinds of money for a fight that ended in under 13 seconds. You don't have to worry about that with this matchup. It's going to go at least three rounds. You can sit back, relax, enjoy the fight, and make smart bets.